You need to know what happens when an acid reacts with a metal carbonate. Whenever we react an acid with metal carbonate, we're going to have three things produced. A salt, water and carbon dioxide. If you see um, a gas coming off and then you collect that gas and it will turn lime water cloudy, that gas is going to be carbon dioxide. The salt here is going to be the tricky thing to name. So whenever we're using acids, you need to know the formula of the common acids and what type of salt is going to be produced. So hydrochloric acid, formula HCl, sulfuric acid is h 2 SO4 and nitric acid is HNO3. Now hopefully what you will notice is that all of these start with a H. That's the bit that actually makes it acidic. Now the salts that each of these produced, hydrochloric acid is always going to produce a metal chloride. Sulfuric acid is always going to produce a metal sulfate and nitric acid is always going to produce a metal nitrate. It's really, really important that you remember these. So let's have a go at doing a few equations. I'm going to work through all of these, but if you want to pause and have a go for yourself, that would be a really, really fantastic, worthwhile thing for you to do. So hydrochloric acid and sodium carbonate. We know we are going to get a salt, water, plus carbon dioxide produced. Now that bit is nice and easy, but what we need to do now is to be able to name this salt. And I've told you it is going to be a metal to start off with. So the metal we have in this situation here is calcium. And the acid we are using is hydrochloric acid. And hydrochloric acid always produce metal chlorides. So the salt here is calcium. Chloride. Sulfuric acid and calcium carbonate. Again, we are going to have three things produced salt, water, and carbon dioxide. We need to be able to name this salt. It is sulfuric acid this time. And sulfuric acid always produces a metal sulfate. So we can see the metal in this situation is again calcium. And because it's sulfuric acid, it's going to be calcium sulfate. Nitric acid, this time, reacting again with calcium carbonate. So again, because we are reacting with a carbonate, we are going to get three things being produced. Nitric acid is always going to produce a metal nitrate as its salt. So the metal here is calcium. And because we've used nitric acid, it's going to be calcium nitrate. Sodium, sodium hydroxide with hydrochloric acid this time. Again, three things produced. Salt, water, carbon dioxide. So let's write down the two easy ones first. Even if you can't name the salt, Writing down carbon dioxide and water might get you one mark. So hydrochloric acid is going to produce a metal chloride. The metal here is sodium, and that will be sodium chloride. If we mix sulfuric acid with sodium carbonate, we are going to get water.
carbon dioxide and our salt is going to be metal first sodium and because it's sulfuric acid sulfate mixing nitric acid now with sodium carbonate we will get water carbon dioxide and the salt sodium first because that's our metal and nitric acid means it's going to be sodium nitrate magnesium carbonate plus hydrochloric acid as always we are going to get water carbon dioxide and our salt is going to be magnesium because that is our metal because it's hydrochloric acid it's going to be magnesium chloride lithium carbonate and sulfuric acid water carbon dioxide and our salt lithium is our metal And because we're using sulfuric acid, it's going to be lithium sulfate. Here's the last one I have for you. Nitric acid and potassium carbonate. As always, it is going to be water. Carbon dioxide. And the salt is potassium. That's our metal. And nitric acid means it will be potassium nitrate. I really hope you found this video helpful. You can join my online classroom at Patreon where you will get weekly assessments so you can keep improving and at the same time support me. Subscribe to the YouTube channel so you don't miss anything. To keep up to date you can follow me on Twitter or like me on Facebook. And for extra resources, blogs and all of the videos in order, you can visit my website primrosekitten.com. Thanks for watching guys, I really hope you enjoyed it. Any comments, questions or corrections, down below please.